The human race may be more unified by music than we think. What if across the world, specific patterns, frequencies, and rhythms tie to specific human emotions and applications? What if music is universal? There's a cross-cultural connection and relation when it comes to music, where people of all different backgrounds might have the same opinions on specific musical notes and songs. At Harvard University, a researcher did a study of 750 internet users in over 60 different countries and had them listen to portions of songs that were collected from 86 different small societies around the world. They then answered questions on what they heard. Each multiple choice option asked what the purpose of the song may have been used for, such as dancing, soothing a baby, healing an illness, etc. The study showed that despite the fact that each participant had never heard the music before, the majority of them were still able to relate it to the true purpose of each song. So for example, say there was a song used for healing in its culture of origin. The study indicates that even people who were unfamiliar with the music would likely guess it was a song written for the purpose of healing. So the majority of participants efficiently chose the correct corresponding mood, emotion, or purpose related to the song. One of the main distinctions found in the study was also that certain songs seemed to oppose each other musically. For example, dance songs were normally faster, more rhythmically complex, and participants interpreted these to be happier and, well, more exciting whereas lullabies were slower, more simple, and interpreted to be sad and less exciting. Future research will target participants that live in smaller scale societies that may have never heard music outside of their own culture. That way, we can see what they have to say regarding the purposes of different music too. But music isn't only found in the human race. There's major similarities with humans and animal songs as well. Take birds, for instance. One study showed that the modal register, aka the chest voice, is found in both human speech and animal song. In fact, they are surprisingly similar even though we are very different species. Can this be a way of showing whether or not music is truly universal? What do you guys think? Hello everyone, like science in your day? You should subscribe. And speaking of universal, what sound do other planets make? Check out Trace's video about the auroras on Jupiter. And one last thing, in that same study, when it came to detecting love songs, the participants didn't do so well in accuracy. Maybe love is just too complex after all. Thanks for watching Seeker.